and yeah, for 1,800, it's, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, these days you can't get anything in the boutique for that much of like this kind of quality. You could get like a Louis Vuitton mini pochette, but like, do you really want to pay that much for a mini pochette? Like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Hope you're all doing really well. I just came home, so I thought I'd just quickly film a video while I'm still a little bit away. Yeah, I was looking on the pre-love market today, as you know, I do. And I was noticing a lot of good deals um, on a lot of the Australian consignment stores that I stalk. So I thought I'd share with you guys some of the deals I've spotted recently. I think that some of these consignment stores do ship internationally. If not, maybe message them just to double check. But yeah, a lot of these deals are actually quite good. Um, and yeah, I'm not sponsored or anything to talk about these bags that are on these consignment store pages. I think the pre-love market, a lot of like prices are dropping and no one's really buying anything. Firstly, the Louis Vuitton Capucines MM on a website called Luke's It Forward, I'll link all these bags I'm talking about below as well, is listed for 1,500 Australian dollars. And all the prices I'm gonna mention today I will be in AUD. So you will have to convert it to USD or CAD or wherever you are in the world. Uh, euros <laughs> and well the U Louis Vuitton Capucines uh, MM it's a bigger size but I did notice that they are going to release some bigger size Capucines this year and it's kind of coming back in fashion you know if you look at Angelina Jolie uh, pictures of her wearing the Capucines she tends to go for the bigger styles and I know that big bags are definitely back in fashion the Capucines is one of you know Louis Vuitton's most um prestigious bag so I thought for 1500 that's basically like cheaper than a pochette for Lisi. like it's actually quite a good price now this particular bag it's it is worn you can see it's not in perfect condition but I think for that like beat up bag look it's quite cool and if you wanted that like trashed Birkin look you can even add some like crazy bag charms to it because the price is just so good I don't know guys like you could probably even take this to Louis Vuitton for a bit of a touch-up or something. 1,500, like you'll never find like a black Capucines for that much. So it's been sitting on the Luke's at Ford website for a while. So I just thought I'd mention it to you guys. This afternoon, I noticed that they uploaded a lot of new bags as well. And another bag that they uh, posted today was the Dior Granville Polishon Satchel. I thought this was quite interesting because, well, it's only 850 Australian dollars, which is really good for like a bag that looks like a Lady Dior, but it did give me a similar vibe to like the newer Lady Dior's that they've bought out that are more soft in structure. And I think I've seen Jisoo from Blackpink wearing them and they're priced quite high. You know, a Lady Dior these days is like eight to 10,000 Australian dollars. So this little like bowling bag style, it's kind of like a speedy kind of vibe, but then it has the little charms on it. It's really cool actually. I'm not tempted by it because I've convinced myself to only buy Hermes. So some of these like other deals, yeah. Oh man, like seriously, like the prices these days are going way down. A Celine Nago Nano luggage tote in denim, which I thought was quite a classic piece. Um, I know denim is not for everybody, but it has denim bags have been trending for the last few years. And for $1,100, I mean, it's quite a good deal as well for a Celine luggage, which, you know, back in the day, they were like 4000 bucks, but now they've completely dived in value. So it's definitely something you could buy. And then you could probably, if you regretted it, you could definitely probably sell it again for $1,000. Like bags like this are not that risky to invest in because if you get sick of them, you can definitely sell them on sometimes for even more than what you paid later down the line. Next, I noticed that on a, a website called Stylish Top, they had this kind of cool uh, 90s Chanel orange tote bag. I thought the color was actually quite fun. And, uh, you know, Chanel bags these days, they are an absolute fortune. The Chanel 22 is like 10K. This funky 90s tote, it doesn't have any like hardware or anything. I can imagine it with like a really cute bag charm though. 1750 Australian. I mean it's not the cheapest deal but for a Chanel it's pretty cool and I just thought it was a pretty fun uh, pop of colour for a bag. I mean it's quite a rare piece actually. You don't often see that one. Also the Celine. So Celine tends to not hold value so you can definitely pick up some good deals. Uh, the box bag which was very popular for many years and it was always on the higher price point as well. Uh, this one on Stylish Top is 1800 in the classic black colour. It's fantastic condition so it's not perfect but something like this could be a really like good workhorse bag I thought and box calf you know 
it can patina and kind of like age quite nicely as well and yeah for 1800 it's, it's a pretty good deal i mean these days you can't get anything in the boutique for that much of like this kind of quality you could get like a louis vuitton mini pochette but like do you really want to pay that much for a mini pochette like i'd rather get like a pre-love celine bag but yeah i guess it all depends on like the kind of collector you are what what you're looking for in a bag stylish top there's also a celine uh belt bag for 1800 now between the uh little box bag and the belt bag i would say that this looks slightly better condition even though they're ranked the same but i thought the color was quite nice the gray 1800 i mean it's a good deal like you're saving quite a significant amount it is the old celine because it looks like it has the little uh dash on the top of it then there's a classic Louis Vuitton Alma from the Murakami collection. Uh, now, you know, this hasn't been reissued yet. I always kind of have this feeling like Louis Vuitton is going to reissue Murakami anytime soon. But yeah, I, I quite like the Alma bag because it has all these studs around it. And if you look at the recent like Verne collections that Louis Vuitton have released, they have Alma bags with studs on them as well. Um, and this like PM size, it is definitely coming back in fashion, these bigger Alma bags. We saw a lot on the recent Louis Vuitton runway shows. 1,200 is like a pretty good steal for like this kind of big bag and the multicolor is just so nostalgic and fun it's not the best condition but i think for the price it's a fair deal and on designer archives i noticed this really cute little ferragamo bag i do love that little uh like gantini logo uh 990 and it looks like it's in like pristine condition uh re retail price is like 2490 so I thought that was quite a classic and it's not as like old looking, it's a little bit better condition and it's a really good price and Ferragamo is actually pretty good quality. On Emier they have some really beautiful um, Hermes bags on their website but I thought a good little bag to pick up was an old Bottega Veneta Olympia bag. It has the classic weave, it's uh, purple. If you look at the Bottega Veneta website, you know, anything with this kind of weave is rather expensive. And when you're getting into these more detailed woven bags, like they're getting up to like 10,000 bucks. But this one here is only $800 Australian. And I thought the color was really pretty. Um, and Bottega, it just feels like amazing quality. And you know, they don't make them like they used to. So I don't think this bag is that old, but it is before like the Daniel Lee era. If you're into like pinks and purples, I just thought, um. Perhaps somebody would dig this. Purse Affair, I also noticed that they had a really interesting Celine box bag as well for around 1800 So um, yeah, that could be another nice option there. And the navy blue is quite stunning with the gold. Uh, yeah, so anyways, there's some of the, the deals that I noticed. Let me know if you are into any of these bags and if you want me to make this a continual kind of a little thing on my channel where I just let you guys know the best deals of the week. All these bags were under 2000 Australian dollars. So I will say if you are saving up for a bigger bag, these are a little bit like distraction bags as well because they might not be exactly what you want. But if you've wanted one of these bags for a while, um, I think they're pretty good deals, especially if you want like a bigger cap you scenes. But you know, for me, I would rather just wait and save up more money to buy a certain bag that I really wanted but I know there's a lot of people as well who are not willing to spend like over two thousand dollars on a handbag and I thought these were some really good quality options that you could go for without having to spend a fortune in the boutique as well and with you know today's climate and you know people being scared of getting mugged and everything sometimes you don't want to carry a bag that costs ten thousand so these might be you know safer options you might feel more comfortable to wear so thanks for watching my video and I'll talk to you guys on my next one bye